When folks from our part of the state look at Baton Rouge funding from the legislature and it works out to be or total funding for Baton Rouge is one point three five billion. And then you look at LSUS, LSUA, LSU Eunice, and they're splitting twenty nine million dollars. When they point that out, you do understand. At least you say to yourself, they may have a point, right? Well, what I say is, how did that discrepancy happen? The way the state funds most of the money that comes to us is based upon enrollment. And so you have two metrics that drive the funding. How many students do you have? And do you bring in research dollars? Would would you imagine a campus that had 35,000 people versus one that had a few few thousand getting anywhere near um, the same amount? And so I think that one of the things we have to deal with is the reality of scale. Now, that said, I do think that there are some distinctive opportunities to build programs in Shreveport. And what I've said to the legislative group there is, let's sit down and design some things that we think are appropriate. For example, a biomedical corridor would be an outstanding opportunity for a healthcare center. And let's build out a strategy for that. And then when we come to the legislature, we're asking for support for that. I think the healthcare center and and, and, uh, Shreveport Healthcare Center desperately need, for example, more research space. They've done a tremendous job there in increasing the research footprint over the last five, seven years. And the the only way we're going to scale it further is to create the space for them. And once we do that, I think there are spinoff companies that can emerge, and we ought to cluster them together and build a biomedical hub, which means we need to work with private philanthropic groups in terms of the development side. I am keen on that and think we can really do a good job of it. But it requires planning on the ground, a clear way forward, and then the ask become clearer. I've said to every single one of them, publicly and privately, I'm 100% committed to that and believe we can do a great job of it. That's where I am with it. We have some opportunities. Let's stop talking about it. Let's just do it. When we do the math with regard to the funding, it turns out that it looks like you spend about 30000 plus for each student at LSU Baton Rouge, and $1,800 for the students here in Shreveport. Is that number out of whack? Does that number need to change? Well, I don't know where you're getting your numbers from. There's so much money that's not actually counted. I literally looked at the numbers in terms of how much money was given to, the, for example, the Health Science Center through our partnership with Oshner and through um, appropriations through the governor's office that isn't even talked about. It's tens of millions of dollars per year. And so we have to sit down and look at where we're getting the sourcing for some of this data. I I actually think we're we're talking across each other half the time when we talk about it. If we're talking about appropriations, again, I'm going to say to you that most of the money, which is built on a Regents model, is built on enrollment, and it's built on research intensity at those places. Now, the only way I could imagine you would change things is change the research intensity. I've already stated publicly we've got to build a bigger research footprint at the uh, Shreveport Medical Center because I think they can scale great research there um, and really make a big difference in terms of long-term health. So that's how I view it. Um, but if we want to get an economist to sit down and break it down, you know, in a really a trustworthy manner and not just us pulling pieces of paper out of our pocket, because I kind of feel like that's what's happening with some of this, then we can really uh, ask ourselves why is there a difference and come to some rational decisions about how we want to operate going forward. Dr. Tate, it seems a couple of minutes ago when you were talking about the increased funding or increased monies for the LSU schools in this part of the state, you sort of focused on the medical school specifically. Can you imagine a scenario where you go to the state legislature and you say, Baton Rouge is getting more than a billion dollars a year. LSU and Shreveport, they've got a leaky roof, and they're fighting for their share of $29 million and they need more. Is that something that's on your radar? Well, absolutely. You have the delegation there who says they want to be supportive in the legislative function. Um, there are a lot of things we could do at the Shreveport campus um, if they decided that they were going to fight to get us additional funding. Um, we've got deferred maintenance at scale. We need to build out, um, and we have requests in right now to help them on the uh, biological side of some of the things that they need there. I'm hopeful that they take this advocacy and really work 
their colleagues so that we can get the things we've asked for. Because historically, um, what's happened over the last, you know, decade or so with respect to funding for higher education, and it has not been very robust. Excuse me. Are, oh, it, me. It's are, gotten are, better over the last two years. Are you saying that the folks at LSU, S, et cetera, they're not trying hard enough for their share of the pie? Absolutely not. I, you have outstanding leadership there. That Chancellor Clark is outstanding. Um, what, I, what I'm saying is that we've got to have advocates and people fighting to make sure that the requests that go in actually get funded. That's, that's really important. You, one quote from yes, from Friday, you said, um, and make sure I'm right on this, I'm 100% in support of getting more resources here for this area, and we're going to work together to make sure that happens. When? Well, we're doing that right now. I mean, we're, we're in the middle of a function where we're asking for support for that area, and, um, and we're finishing up some projects right now, for example, the Medical Education Center um, at the... Uh, Health Science Center is finishing up now. And so we're actively engaged in attempting to bring resources to the area that align with their needs and actually their strategic plan. And the other thing that no one talks about, um, since arriving here, we've knitted together a group to build a strategic plan for our system, um, and we're working on that right now. This legislative session popped up in the middle of our strategic planning process. So a lot of our asks are related to um, historical needs in terms of infrastructure, but we will have really some ambitious um, ask next year once our strategic plan is done. There wasn't a strategic plan actively for LSU as a system or for the individual campuses that was really active over the last few years. We're going to remedy that. 